is bdd dying this is one of the question which i have been keep getting from community asking kartik is bdd is really a thing in 2025 because not a lot of companies are really using it anymore and companies are thinking that bdd is like an extra wrapper which is quite hard to maintain and they are moving away from behavioral driven development well if you have heard this it is kind of true right now like a lot of companies are moving away from it but in 2025 the things have started to change as well in another sense well i say another sense thanks to artificial intelligence and all these tooling supports which is making the bdd like resurrecting the bdd from the death right now and i'll tell you what i really mean about that so if you have really seen my other videos in user automation youtube channel you might have seen that we used to prompt the artificial intelligence tools uh, like the playwright mcp tool or the playwright um, uh, tool which is built by microsoft or the mcp database server tool all these tools just take user prompts which is the text user prompts and it performs the operation on behalf of you right and this is exactly what behavioral driven development does as well so you write in a given when then fashion like a text you say that given i open this application and i click this button and i enter the username and password and i do this and i do that when i see this then this should happen so this is what the given when and then uh, approach which happens in the bdd world that's exactly what we can now leverage as a prompt engineering for that matter to see how we can achieve the exact same thing well i say about all these things okay if i quickly show you in a demo you'll understand what i really mean about that so let's say i'm going to open cursor ide over here and we can see that i have written a simple uh, feature file over here let's say login feature file uh, and over here i'm saying that uh, the background is ai instruction so this is the ai instruction background i'm writing in over here i'm saying given in any of this process if the ui operation fails try to first get the html page content try to understand the dom then perform the action so this is just an ai instruction so you can fuse any number of instruction in here but this is the very high level instruction that i have given to the mcp tool and then we are going to say over here this is the scenario that we are writing over here i'm saying that to perform login operation in the ea app website and i'm saying given i navigate to this particular uh, website and i click the login button and i enter the username and password uh, and i click this uh, link uh, login link and i should see the employee details menu so this is one of the scenario that i have written it's in a bd format right and similarly i have got one, another bd format over here which is going to perform login operation and at the same time it's going to create a new uh, employee with a uh, realistic data so i'm going to say uh, perform a login operation in the ea web app and create a new employee right so this is the thing that i'm going to do over here see this is now going to act as a prompt for these ai tools which is going to act as an uh, as a test case for us as a test engineer to perform an action on the particular uh, on the particular tool now all i'm going to do is i'm going to choose this login.feature file in the cursor ide and then i'm going to run this test but just before i even do that i have already configured the mcp tools in the cursor settings so if you are really not heard uh, or watched my other videos about the mcp i highly recommend you to go and watch there it, we have tons of videos already so that will tell you how you can configure these tools so if i just click this uh, pencil symbol over there it's going to take me to the edit of the mcp server and it's going to show you what exactly that i have configured i have configured two things over here one is the playwright uh, mcp server and another one is the sqlite database mcp server both of them are built from azure automation uh, and you can see that this is the thing that you have to do the com uh, command is npx and the argument is this one once you have everything set up now your uh, ai model is ready to accept the input from the user and it can and it can invoke the tools which is configured in the mcp server uh, which can perform the operation that you're looking for so because i have configured everything over here i can now call the mcp servers from the chat but even beyond that now many companies like many enterprise companies are starting to uh, give the plugin support for us like jira tickets that you can rise in and also you can create uh, a a task in the jira board or, or you can also rise an exception like an bug tickets or while there happens any exception in the application and then you can rise the uh, ticket automatically you can then check in the test code to the github 
uh, using these MCP tools. So you can see that now the ecosystem is keep developing and companies are now going to start moving towards MCP and making use of these BDD is going to be helpful a level further because now you have all the text, no code anywhere, and things are going to just happen using the toolings that we have got. Well, as I said, you see that now the power of BDD is going to come in over here. Now, because I have got all of these as in BDD format, as well as this is going to act as a prompt for the LLMs. And, and also we have got the, um, the MCP tools over there. Now I'm going to say, analyze this uh, co the, the scenarios in feature file and run it with uh, MCP tools configured. See, this is what I'm really telling. Maybe we can even change the way we have to run it using the uh, the knowledge of the cursor. We can set the knowledge as well over here, which will make things even more better. But I'm just gonna uh, ask it over here, something like this. You can see that now it's saying that here is uh, how I'll proceed. It's gonna analyze the feature file for all of these scenario. Uh, and it is going to configure everything for me uh, using the MCP tool. And then it's going to start the Playwright code gen session because this is the tool which is going to invoke our Playwright MCP tool. Look at that. So this is the this is the thing that is going to be invoking. So I'm going to run this over here. It's going to start a code generation session because it's going to generate the code as well for you. And now it's going to navigate to the EA app for me. Look at that. So it has navigated there. And now it's going to keep doing all the different operations. So at the moment I just start doing it. I can put this thing side by side so that you can see what's really going on uh, over there. Uh, I'm gonna run it again. Look at that. It's running it. And then it's going to do a login operation for me there. Uh, and it's going to get the visible text. It's going to click the uh, playwright click. And it's going to create the uh, the employee. So it's going to fill all the details that we wanted to uh, feed in to this particular application. And then look at that. It has completed it. And it's going to close the uh, playwright. And then finally, it's going to end the code session for me. And we have got a code being generated, which is, I think it's this one. Uh, and there we go. I know there is some issue in the code generation over here because you see that the code has got some um, some like like a single code there instead of double code. So the way that you can fix it is just go uh, and uh, tab it. You can fix this code over here. You can just uh, say accept to hit the tab and then you can do the same exact thing to accept it. Uh, this is something available in the cursor uh, IDE for you to fix the code on the fly something like this see you don't even have to ask the the model to do it for you it's all done on the fly for you over there so you don't even need these things see now we have a working code for the execution that we have done but the point is how we are using this bdd scenarios to do all these operations these days so this is how i can see that the bdd has got a life resurrected from the death completely because now this is how uh, the companies may start using BDD because the maturity of these uh, AI toolings are quite awesome and the tool which is built as an ecosystem is going to be even helpful for us to do automation testing even better. So if you're asking this question, is BDD is dying? I would say now in 2025, this is not the case. Things are changing, things are evolving. These texts are gonna act as a prompt for our testing code to make things even more better. Hope it makes sense. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Catch you in the next one.